Hello everyone and welcome to Faith, the Unholy Trinity, a game that is based off of 80s um, aesthetics, style, so that's why the game itself is in a small little ratio, um, where we play as a priest who is returning to a home of the first exorcism they did. Um, instructions. So, here is what the graphics are going to be like. So, again, it's set very 80s style. Um, pixelated art. Which, I think now has a very good um, nostalgic feel that people love. Okay. Cast out demons. Be gone. Okay, so that's all we do. Move and move and crucifix. Okay, let's begin. So I've got the Unholy Trinity, which actually has all three chapters of the game. Um, the first one came out in 2019, I believe, was it? Um, with the most recent one coming out a couple of months ago, as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, a game that's been out for a while, but hugely positive reviews. Uh, okay, so notes. So we're going to just go through it. Flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo. Okay. Got my crucifix, I'm ready. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay, so... Oh, is that a little map? Okay. Well, not really a map. So we got a tree, a house at the top, a smaller house, and... A... What is that in the middle? I don't even know. Okay, let's... Let's, uh, tree demon. Oh, deer. Hi, deer. Where are you going? I think I'm going to follow the deer. Oh, it's a demon! What the hell? Oh, it's a well. Ooh. Oh, what? A demon! You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay, so straight past the well, so up here. Deer. Deer? Let's follow the I'm gonna follow the deer, because I think the deer will keep me safe. Demon! Oh, I'm not afraid of no demon. What's going on here? Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected to um expected registering the Markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Uh, Office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there, and inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. We sent the gravestone rub um, rub rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson. Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Okay, so the house is on a burial ground? On um, something like that? I'm going to get lost, aren't I? I mean, that, that map doesn't really give you a lot. Is there anything? No, so there's nothing, there's no real map. It's not opening up for me, it's not showing me where I am. Um, 
Okay, I'm, I don't want to get too lost. Hi, dear. Demon? No, come back. Be gone! I'm a priest, I'm not scared of no demon. It's more like a Wendigo. Or some kind of spider. Uh, am I going right now? Yes, okay. Lovely house. Okay. So, where do I go? Dear, do you want to guide me? Is that going to come back? And worship you? I don't want to worship you. Um, oh. What is this? Be gone! I need to be careful not to shout too loud, because... I'm getting too into it. Um, is that bones? Maybe that's bones of the of the demon's previous victims. Oh, okay. This is a little house. Let's see what this note says first. The mine's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just over in the middle of the grave gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it had, was already dark when we arrived. Father Allard, Allard seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the, in the headlights I saw an old shed off the right of the path. Father Allard explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the of the rite that may seem harsh to the, to the lay person. Can I can I go in here? Demon? Oh, there we go. Am I being circled now? Demon! Be gone! Okay, now I've got to try and find the house again. So yeah, this does have a very um, 80s style kind of feel to the game. Be gone! I'm probably letting that get a bit too close to me, really. Um, like with the very minimal mapping and minimal showing of where to go. Uh, oh, no. So our house is up from here. I'm kind of trying to get waypoints, which kind of seems to be working a little bit. Who was that? Demon. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us in the front porch. Mr. Martin led it led us downstairs to the basement explaining that Amy was down there in the restraints. I felt I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm staring at us. It is hard to describe the look of her face as it was not the kind of look a child gives you. Okay, uh, can I look at this portrait? What am I doing? You're free. Oh, happy family. Okay. Um, I'm going to explore the house a little bit first before I go into the basement or the attic, was it? It said attic, but I, I don't know if it said basement at the beginning. Oh, who's that? Nate? Who's Nate? Who the hell's Nate? I'm just gonna crucify everything because something's bound to TV. TV rots your brain. The it's the devil's box.
it's really weird that the music's gone. There's, is that something behind me? What is that? Hello? Demon? Okay, um, to go up this way. I, there was some other stairs, so I, I, I don't know where I'm going. I wasn't really paying attention. Wait, can I check the notes? You've got an already. This virus? No, not that one. No, it's not. He's missing, missing, missing. Oh, I'm missing quite a lot of notes there. Uh, I'm, if I don't find the notes, I'm I'm not going to be too bad about it. Um, so where was it? Um, Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in the restraints. I felt for him. There was no guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the ah. Wait, what? So Amy was down there in the restraints in the basement. But then Amy was in the very back of the attic. So. Is this the basement? I'm, I'm confused. Okay, there's blood both ways. Is there any... You might want to fix the leaks. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Demon. Oh, actually, could one of these be demons? Be gone. Be gone. Nobody's begunning. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right uh, for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allard asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I've got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allard lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. With his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. I still don't know where, I, where I'm... Oh, Ooh, wait, what? Where am I? What's happening? Oh my god, what is this? Where am I? She is here. That Amy? Wait. Um Where am I? I guess guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there it was freezing cold it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing um, in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon during our conversation. She uttered my mother's first name and in, in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Where am I? I don't know where I am. Demon! Demon duck? Demon duck! I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house in, at night. I don't let the, the things go out in the woods to play. 
I don't let the twins, oh, twins, go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse and I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor but I can't. I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. I haven't really... Oh, okay. I've explored... Now I know where I am. So I guess I'll just have a little bit... Demon? I'm ready for you. No? You gone? Be gone. I don't know if that really matters. I guess that's probably just like because it's there. But if... Oh, hang on. I can do this. I didn't do that to the dolls downstairs, did I? Maybe I can go back there. Bob must be st um, stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time I have book club, but she she looks like she could be from over there. You can't, you can't say that. Uh, Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll making her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Have a phone. I thought this was set in the 80s. Was Were phones common then? Oh. Uh, demons? Demon toys? I'm ready for you. You get out. Oh, what? Um... Ooh. Mortis. Um. What? Okay, we've got to see this again. Hi. Hello. Why am I in the bed? Do I have to go through all of the things again? Okay, let's just pick up the things because I don't know. If that has any relevance, if I do or don't. I do want to check that room again. But I kind of want to go down to the basement and things first. Oh. I... Did I do it? Okay, so I guess I just didn't... Do it fast enough last time. Okay, so if I do it fast enough, I don't have to do that trial thingy. Um, yeah, before I do that room again, I want to just check the basement. Can't catch me, I'm too fast. Yee-hee. Because there was the doll. Oh, the doll's gone. If I'm quick enough, then I don't have to worry about any of the things. Can I go over here? Because there's blood there. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was fine. I, I dodged it somehow. Can I? No, I can't turn when I've... So I can't turn when I've got the crucifix. That's good to know. That would make those kind of other ones easier to deal with, but this seems like it should be. Be gone! Be gone, demon! I'm not very good at doing the dodging then. <laughs> okay. Um, back to. Back to actual. Um, Priest work. She is here. She's here. Yes, we've seen you. Again, I don't know if I need to pick up the notes, but it does seem like a collection. I 
I think there's a little bit of a tell to say which one is the right demon. I'm sure there was like a little bit of a flash on the right one. Uh, I think I've explored the house, so let's see. Can I go in here? No? Where do I go? What am I supposed to... What do I do? I, didn't, I haven't explored the rest of the downstairs, have I? Explored the basement. But... Is this changed? Nope. Anything here? No. Uh, I've got no demon behind me this time. Where do I go? Can I leave? Yes. I have faith in you. Wait, this wasn't here before, was it? Was that there? He was going for the deer then, he wasn't even going for me. What? Okay. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and beast surgery. Or system. The beast system. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Ooh. He gave me a note. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have already been contact contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will, you will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. So did who who's who's that? Who's who's Michael? So I guess we've got to go back in. I can see you. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so into the attic we go. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their their visions of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. Uh, what they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, she, my. Th she, my superior father, with when I confronted her. What? She managed to cut the power of the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Okay, this thing's missing there or jumbled, I don't know, but... Okay. Stop. I command thee to stop. No, just gonna be a. Okay. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. He's my priest. Demon. Demon. Be gone. Be gone, demon. What the hell are you? Who are you? Mortis. Okay. My God, what happened to you? <laughs> he just crawled out of the of the thing. I I'd, I'd used crucifix on it. it. Didn't do anything. I have to finish what I started. 
I mean, do I just keep doing this? Oh, I just avoid it. Okay. I... Okay, so something's happening. Oh god, there's two of them now. Oh, wait. That's fine. Uh, what was that? Ah, did one. Ah! You? Ah! Okay. I don't know if I was doing... It seemed like I was doing it right at first. Hi. That one. Uh. That one. Then run. Okay. I, I get it now. It's just, this isn't too bad. You just gotta dodge. Be gone. Be gone, foul beast. That one. Dodge. Good dodge. Damn. Am I am I winning? How long do I have to do this for? Oh, there we go. Ha ha! Deep. Ooh. Um, what now? What? What? What do I do with that? Okay. Um. Okay. Bad touch. And then you go to that side. And it'll be up here. Right? No, that side. You didn't touch me. I, I call... I call... Shit. That was close. And then you're down in the this corner. And you're up this side. And then I don't know where you're going to be. Up here. Okay, now I don't know where, where she's going to be. Okay, I can get a lot of damage there. Oh, okay. Hand face gone. Be gone, demon. Demon. Demon? Just threw ourselves out the window. Okay. Am I safe now? Is there a face on that? I don't know if that's going to capture it, but it looks like there's a face on this mannequin um, stand. Am I safe now? I guess I need to follow them. Kill her. With one bullet. Okay. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't mean to use the bullet. Uh. 
Um, I I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. Now the gun's back. Okay. Um, so I can't go out the out the back door, which I kind of would have thought. So I've got to find her. It's different. Hello. Ha -pa. I wouldn't have thought it'd be that easy. Is that it? No more no more demons? Can I get any more notes? Oh, I'm I'm confused. I don't know if I've done good. Can I actually go off of the path now, or is this kind of like set? I can. So eerie. It's this way. Still got my crucifix. I'm still, I'm still fine. I imagine I just have to leave now, but I, I, I don't want to go too far off the path. I don't want to confuse myself. I'm having, I'm gonna have a quick little look on each side, just to. Kind of seems like something there. Can I get a... Nope. How many notes have I even got? One, two... I haven't got three, four, five. So I must have missed a lot at the beginning. Thirteen. Sixteen. Okay, so I've, I've missed a few. But again, I, I don't, don't really care about the notes. They're kind of building the story in some way. Oh, dear. Okay, I'll leave you be. Just get out of here. I'm still aware with my crucifix in case something comes up. But I guess I just leave now. Evening, officer. How are we? Game over. Ending one of five. Murderer. Okay, yeah, so there are multiple endings. I guess... I, I kind of assume that there's one leaving. It does say that there's multiple endings. Um, And usually I think there is just one of just not doing anything. So I'll, I will try and get all of the endings. I'm going to try that as now. So uh, we're not done quite yet. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling, Sterling girl who has been missing. John Ward of Pal Palomara was pulled over on Snakes Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought he would, he might be, it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over when. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to police reports, the officer called for backup after Ward became incredibly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to, to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. 
After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound she to the stomach, Amy showed injuries struck, suggesting that she had been thrown out of the, the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his vic- to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. I don't believe that he wasn't ordained. I think in that they're covering their tracks of Hi Oh Okay. New backup background unlocked, new chapter unlocked. Okay, so continuing takes me back. Yeah, so I'm going to look for some more endings. Um, so I'm going to... I guess I'm going to try the leaving first. Oh, it's the, the demon man. How? Was that the demon? I may have made a terrible mistake right there, but it's fine. We all deal with the repercussions when we get to it. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. So I just shot somebody and then just left. Ooh, who the hell is that? Oh, is that... Wait, hang on. Was that the demon guy? That was the demon spider wendigo thing. What? Right? Ending two or five, father and son. Esteemed Cardinal Grifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for, for young Michael. Without being present here, Michael... Without being present here, Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Um, nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let the we must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a crucial time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul. Um, aff- afflicts his soul but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photo of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photo is missing. Okay, so we've done two endings. Um, third one. I guess I'm going to go for the deer. Boom. Sorry. Sorry, dear. Um, because what what else would you do as a priest um, when trying to fight a demon? You see a deer, you shoot the deer. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God. In him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. I'm just a dear madman. Just good. Oh. Um. Hi, guys. This, um, demons? Oh my god. Four or five? The hunter. Okay, so I've. I'm not doing them in order then. Um, unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of the deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an, in- an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of the s- silver sedan 
um, was had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman from the police com- uh, commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windscreen windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. No, no, that was that was that was deers. Deers are, yeah, okay. Police also noted that parts of the of of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the tr- trunk of the car from a white-tailed deer. A hunter typically gets seventy-five pounds of meat. However, it appeared the victim of the action accident was only able to carry twenty-five pounds back to the car. What? So I, I actually hunted a deer. Is that what that's saying? Was I actually just a deer hunter? Okay. Um, the fact is, says kill her, and it's backwards. It's just got me thinking. Is the demon here? No. Uh, pow. Um. Okay. So that did something. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? Demon? Be gone? Uh, face the right way, John. Okay. So, is this the real? Is this the real demon? Have I actually found a real demon now? I'm not fast enough. Run! He's gonna get me! Oh, thank God. Okay. Did I do it? Oh, I did it. Okay, that was easy. Um, October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. McGlashan, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale um, Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Sp- the spinal who has been so patient with me has helped me understand my aff- afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept that what really happened in September at the Martins family residence. I accept what happened as not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are through the uh, thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I am now enjoy and now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully re-guest re-guest my release I'll request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute conjunct um, Institute continue contingent upon follow up appointments with Doctor Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Oh, okay. So, so am I actually not a priest, or am I a priest? I'm confused. And is that an ending? Do I just leave now? Okay, bye bye. Demon! Ooh. Okay. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. 
because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Ending 505, when faith endures. And I guess that's the true ending. Because it's in, in yellow or gold. Also, we can just take a second to appreciate this music. Okay, so we've got one more ending. And we'll try and find that as well. Um, okay, police animal experts investigate... Chupacabra remain, remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal ex experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a Chupacabra, were discovered at Smoke Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had, animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told, had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, the police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If there's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or... An animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate uh, about what kind of animal had been found, although they commu um, commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the, from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have, been rece have not received enough sunlight. Okay, new effects unlocked. Okay, so the deer's on the right. So is this on the left because there were stones there? Yes. Okay, this this little squirrel bird thing. Oh. I missed. I'll be back. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, pow. There we go. I mean, it was... It was already... Do I need to shoot that? But... I don't know what that's referenced to for anything, but then yeah, I don't know what the deer was for either. Oh. Hi. Ending three or five, the offering. Okay. Uh, hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let them do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get together at the clinic Saturday night and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. Who's Gary? What? Okay, new chapter mode unlocked. Okay, so that's all the endings of of um, faith. So I think we're gonna stop there. I don't. I'm not gonna look for the for the um, other notes. Um, I, I don't. I, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not too fussed about getting all that. I think we kind of got a lot of the story already from the notes we did pick up. 
Um, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. We will continue with Chapter 2 at some point. Um, yeah, this game was really good. It was really good. Um, the minimal style or nostalgic style of the 80s wasn't too bad. The little cutscenes of showing some of the creatures was great. I mean, that the Amy's showing of things was that looked really cool um, and just actually really scary as well like does the hand come in at the face that's yeah um, so yeah I'd, I can't wait to see what the other games are going to be because I'm sure after after this it only got bigger and better but we will see that next time anyway that's going to do it for today thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time bye